Now, you and I, we have the perception of consciousness being a steady state thing, as being this continuous thing. But just recall going to sleep at, you know, 3 a.m. You know, you fall asleep at 3 a.m. and then, you know, five minutes later, you wake up and it's 7 a.m. Or at least that's, it seemed like it was only five minutes later. It seemed like no time has passed that. You literally just went down and then woke up a moment later. You had no perception of time passing because you were completely knocked out. Well, obviously consciousness wasn't a continuous narrative at that moment. But is it even a continuous narrative all the time? Well, we know that there are periods of semi-consciousness, that people are semi-conscious, that they're kind of out of it. And I've had the experience, I don't know if you've had the experience, but I've had the experience. When I'm kind of out of it, time seems to go by faster. That's just, I'll be, I'll be doing something while I'm kind of out of it, because for whatever reason, I, I'm, I'm forcing myself to stay up because uh, I want to get back on a proper sleep schedule or something, so I'm forcing myself to stay up and then you know go to sleep at the right point. And in those periods, I'm kind of out of it. And the in the hours, what I notice is that as I get further and further along, time seems to go by faster. In fact, it's it's harder, you know, going you know 20 hours than it is going from 20 to 24 hours awake than it is from going from 24 to 28 hours awake. And an idea of that is that, well, maybe consciousness is not that continuous. Perhaps consciousness is like something that flickers in and out, in and out, in and out. Our consciousness keeps flickering in and out. But the thing is, it's flickering so fast that we perceive it all as a continuous narrative. Kind of like how we perceive a cartoon that's going at 60 frames per second as a continuous narrative. We have a consciousness going at 1,000 frames per second, whatever, Whatever it is, I don't, I don't know if it's even appropriate to measure it in that way. But that would certainly be enough to have the perception of a continuous narrative. But in between these flickerings of consciousness are, you know, consciousness on, consciousness off. There are those off periods. And what if those off periods widen a little bit? they widen to the point where it goes from a thousand frames per second to 500 frames per second. Now even at 500 frames per second you're going to perceive the world as being a continuous narrative but you're going to perceive time as going by faster. Right? You're going to see time as going by faster. And the reason being is that those little periods of of being of of not being conscious being out conscious out conscious out those out periods are widening and just like you know going from 3 a.m to 7 a.m it seemed like no time has passed well going from you know one really small instant to another makes it seem like no time has passed so and people, when they get older, they perceive time as passing faster than people who are younger. And perhaps that's because the periods of being out of it are widening as, as they get older. Um, they get older biologically, I mean. So, just something to think about. Just something I thought about.